Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Glove Love. I'm your host, Top Dot. Tonight we are back with a very special Glove Love. This is going to be my cousin KT's podcast. Um, if y'all not subscribed to the channel and y'all like what's going on, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Then slide over, hit that uh, bell so you can get ladies and greatest, you know what I'm saying, from Nerd Game Nation. So with this one, I'm not going to be reacting to it. I'm just going to let my cousin whole little thing play out, you know what I'm saying, do a little new format that I was trying to ease over into for season four that's coming up. So without further ado, y'all go ahead and get your ears right. So y'all can go ahead and your eyes right too, because he's got a visual podcast. Y'all can go ahead and enjoy this podcast. Kicking it with K, chopping it. Sorry, my bad, honey. Chopping it with KT. Y'all enjoy. See you later. Boom. So this is the Chopping It with KT podcast. We are about to, uh, you know, I'm going to have homies in here from time to time, sitting here chopping up while we, uh, you know, just kick the shit, talk about shit that's been going on lately. Uh, first of all, let's talk about why be in Almighty J. Uh, he just got his ass whooped. Something vicious. Yeah, um, he got jumped out out of town. I don't even know where he's from, but out of town somewhere, thinking he was, you know, tough. I seen some some shit on Instagram. They were saying he was talking crazy, and that's why that happened to him. But uh, that's too bad, man. Uh, everybody that knows knows that Scarface is my favorite rapper, and uh, but he got a rap a lot chain taken. It's horrible, man. And that trophy chain. I don't know what that trophy chain is about, but that shit is kind of hard. It's fucked up that he got his ass whooped like that. Hey, man. You can't be out there talking crazy out of bounds. Once you go out of bounds, you got to, you know, tighten up. Be on your P's and Q's. And definitely that was not on his P's and Q's. I see Buddy running. Got kicked in the head. All kinds of, all kinds of shit. Shit was crazy. <clears throat> But the bad thing is, he was on there wolfing. I seen some videos, he was talking big shit. But he was talking some big, big shit. But hey, man, don't nobody, you know. I see some after pictures after you got whooped. His shit was split open. Split. Like on the side of his face. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. You better be careful out there, man. It was like 30 30 dudes, too. That was whooping on his ass. Nah, I'm not going to say 30. It was like 10. <laughs> it was like 10. But they were still busting his head. God. It was pretty vicious. Pretty vicious. But now we get to see if buddy shit real. Because you know how people love to, Niggas love to, you know, take a nigga chain and be like, oh, that shit fake. Nigga said it was worth 30000 That shit fake as hell. <laughs> yeah. But we will see. I see some shit DJ Ghost was talking about. He was like, uh, you making the y, YBN shit look bad. And I'm going to have to agree with the man. Uh, you out here getting your ass whooped, out of bounds, talking crazy. Then they take your chain, take your YBN chain, take your rap a lot chain, kick you all in the head. Got videos of you running down the street. Niggas yelling out, hey, take a chain, take a chain, take a chain. One, I seen one nigga was trying to dig in his pocket. Like, God damn, bro. You got, you got niggas digging in your pocket out here. That's not a good look. But, hey, hopefully, you know, uh, all, all's well to him. And hopefully he has a speedy recovery. Uh, I never really listened to none of his songs, but uh, I fuck with the y, YBN, I'm mirror nigga. His shit's kind of hard. Uh, yeah, that's all really I have for that. But, uh. I wanted to get my opinions on Takashi Six Nine, the Rat. Yeah, man. Uh, I seen some shit. His baby mama was on Vlad talking about he's uh he did a deal or some shit. I didn't even watch it. I just seen little you know clips and shit of it. But that shit's horrible, man. He's out here telling on niggas, man. 
And I seen this one dude on Instagram talking about, uh, oh, you niggas uh, would have did the same thing in his predicament and this and that and that and this and justify him telling because he has a daughter. And I seen T-Pain doing the same thing. Listen, man, that's uh, that's that's out. If you if you uh, value yourself and respect yourself, man, you would never be out here telling on nobody because uh, that's the lowest form you could go, man. You can't be out here, you know, uh, saying you want you give a nigga twenty thousand to uh to shoot a nigga and then you out here telling on the nigga you you paid the twenty thousand to come on man I see I seen uh who was that I think it was Boosie he said some shit yeah yeah you uh, you a dirty nigga for that bro you you you, you trip across that nigga that's dirty now you out here telling you paying niggas to do dirt and then you and then you tell on the nigga man like I don't know man snitching is unacceptable. I don't give a fuck. He knew he had a daughter when he was out there doing all that shit, telling, paying niggas to get shit, to shoot at niggas and, you know, out there fucking off. So you can't be out here being one of them niggas like, oh, man, yeah, man, he has a daughter and blah, blah, blah. But he didn't give a fuck about his daughter when he was out here doing what he was doing. So, hey, man, you can't be out here, you know, living a life and the next thing you know, you <laughs> you're telling on niggas. And I see a lot of niggas saying, oh, uh, he only knew these niggas for like two years, and they was fucking his baby mama and all this and that. Hey, man, that's that's some personal shit. You are gonna have to uh, swallow that bone. But uh, I don't know what he's gonna do. But uh, man, it's a cold pill to swallow. Man, and they say uh, he's looking at forty seven years, but he told so. I don't see him getting no forty seven years or nothing even close to that. Um, he'll probably end up with like uh, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say. 10, 12, something like that, <clears throat> yeah, but he's over, it's over for him, man, uh, I see a lot of people think he can still come back and, uh, have a career and still be making them, uh, them songs and shit, them old, uh, yelling ass songs, hey, man, I don't know, me personally, I can't support no nigga that's out here telling, so, uh, y'all yeah, won't be, uh, listening to any of that or supporting any of that bullshit, yeah, now, if he would have, you know, took his, you know, bought his case like a man, you know, and maybe he would have beat it or took his time or whatever, yeah, man, then you could still be out here, you know, making the music or whatever. <clears throat> but you ain't going to be out here snitching and thinking, yeah, man, I'm not going to be out here supporting a nigga that's just telling on niggas. It's out here just like uh, the, it makes me think of the one nigga, YB and uh, Almighty J. Nigga, uh, what are they? It's, it's trolling. You can't be out here trolling, man. You get your, you get your head bust, or you end up in the feds. And I'm, I ain't trying to go to nobody's feds. But yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, uh, <clears throat> they say uh, <clears throat> the Cuda B nigga is out, but I ain't seen nothing online <clears throat> of him talking about it or nothing like that. The nigga he supposedly told on that. Uh, for the shooting or whatever, I ain't seen. Uh, they say he, he bonded out or some shit. I ain't seen nothing on it though. Uh, um, I just hope uh, you young niggas, man, don't take his way out, man, cause uh, telling ain't the way. I'm telling you, it's not the way. Cause you gotta think about it. If you tell, well, that he he got <clears throat> he gonna end up in witness protection or some shit, you know, cause he got. <clears throat> The fame and notoriety or whatever, because people will recognize his face off the top and all that kind of shit. But <clears throat> a nigga with no money, <clears throat> I'm telling you right now, man. Uh, you tell niggas gonna be after you trying to bust your head open. I'm telling you now, you can't just be out here telling, man. That's not the way to go. But uh, I seen this uh, shit just came up on what's it called? So we gonna talk about it. Uh, the R. Kelly shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddy going down, man. He's going down. I don't know. Uh, I seen some shit. Some bitches keep belling this nigga out or paying for his child support and shit. Some shit said uh, some bitch paid 161000 or some shit for this nigga's back child support payments. Like, God damn, you bitches, you, you bitches is foul. You don't even care that this nigga been, you know, diddling these little bitches or whatever, man. That, that's, that's crazy. That's out of pocket, man. And you just out here paying for the nigga's bill, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, you know, you can't handle a nigga getting bombed out. But still, though, that's crazy. 
You could tell, like, you know, a lot of motherfuckers think he's, uh, he's innocent, and, uh, hey, man, I feel like, yeah, you motherfuckers been, because uh, I was a kid, I was born in 91, so, yeah, I don't know, uh, by the time I was, you know, I, my mom listened to R. Kelly, a lot of people listen to R. Kelly, but, uh, I'm just saying, man, that's crazy, uh. They had the video, and the, I see some shit that uh, his buddy pay, uh, paid for a wedding certificate for the for him to marry Aaliyah when she was 15, man. Like, come on, man. What kind of shit is that? Like, come on, man. This nigga married the... Because me, I thought Aaliyah was bad. I, I was, you know, I'm a kid. I was a kid. But damn, I didn't know the bitch was only 15. The nigga married her when she was 15. Hey, man. Buddy needs... That nigga's a sick ass nigga, and he been out here, you know, just willing and dealing and dilly dallying and shit. My thing is, how hasn't nobody bust this nigga's head yet? Like, I don't understand, man. Like, none of the parents bust this nigga's head. Nobody in Chicago don't bust this nigga's head. He's just walking around, and then I seen the interview, little pieces of the interview and shit. This nigga's crying, talking about the niggas are trying to kill him because. It wasn't him. I don't know what's up with Buddy, man. That shit is fucking crazy. I don't know. It's hard for me to say, you know, oh, nigga needs to go to jail and this and that. No, somebody needs to fuck that nigga up real, 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 real bad. But, you know, man, that's just how this shit go, man. Yeah, and then motherfuckers is paying for him to get out of jail and shit. This nigga, then, oh, that shit's foul. But anyways, man, fuck that nigga R. Kelly, man. He a nasty-ass nigga, man. Somebody need to bust his head open. But, uh, yeah, since we was talking about R. Kelly, let's talk about Michael Jackson, man. So I've been seeing, I ain't watched the interviews or whatever you call it, documentary or whatever, <coughs> with the dudes talking about he did all this stuff to him, but, um, uh, I don't know, man. I don't think I could, you know, agree with it, man. I don't know. They say that the same dude is already, uh, testified in his behalf in court or whatever. And then I heard some shit that uh, they got a law, a $100 million lawsuit that they're trying to reopen. So I guess they're trying to do all this for money, even though they went to court and said Mike didn't do it. I don't know, man. I just was showing my daughter Mike the other day. I can't I can't say, because, uh, you know, the yeah, I don't want to say if, if, if he did it, I don't want to say they're lying. But I don't know, man, if you already accepted money or told, went to court and said that he didn't do it, hey man, it's kind of hard for me to say, yeah, you're, you're telling the truth, you know, but hey man, we I don't know, let Mike rest in peace, man, yeah, ain't nobody like Michael Jackson, man, I don't know, man, yeah, he's a little weird, you know, from, you know, being all the way black to going all the way white, but you know, hey man, who knows, man, that, that, but the, but the allegation, I don't know. Yeah, he got the the amusement park and all that weird ass shit. Now, look, don't get me wrong, this shit is weird as hell. But I don't know if I could just you know, you know, go off what they're saying. Like, uh, yeah, I agree, Mike is a weird ass nigga. But you know, I can't just go off what they're saying. They done already been to court and all that old bullshit. But, yeah, I don't know about that. But uh, yeah, uh, I just seen this uh, school college scandal or whatever. They're talking about the uh the the lady from Full House, Fuller House, the auntie or whatever the fuck. That uh she paid over five hundred thousand to get her kids into college and they were like faking documents and shit and putting photoshopping them playing sports and getting them sports. So I guess it was a whole ring of rich people who were paying for their kids to get into schools instead of them actually getting into the school, they were just paying for it, and uh, that's pretty fucked up, man, you know, it's a fucked up uh, situation we got going, but they said, like, Buddy was, like, he made, like, 20, up to 25 million, I think they said, he had 25 millions up in, in, uh, bribes that they knew about or whatever, he was cashing out, 25 M's, that's, yeah, that's a lot of money, man. But I'm just saying, no. So for everybody that really, that got in the right way, you know, 
I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. That shit's crazy. It's all fucking rigged. Everything's all rigged, man. Shit's fucked up. But yeah, they uh, they drew down on her ass and came and got it all. They try to make it seem like it was a big old thing. Oh, they held their guns out and this and that. Yeah, bitch, you, 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 you doing some federal scamming? Yeah, they got the guns out. What the fuck, you think it's going on? <laughs> this ain't no uh, you know, you know, scam Joe. You, these little motherfuckers been to college. <clears throat> And I seen some shit talking about the kids. Oh, we can't take any more bullying, so we dropped out. The bullying is just so much. What do you think it was gonna happen? You got a bunch of kids that <clears throat> that work their ass off, that you know, been trying, trying to get to this level for who knows how long. They whole life pretty much, and then here come you with your privileged ass background, and your mom just you know, ba ba, hit them with that five hundred thousand, you know. Damn, you, you in the Ivy League, you know, you destined to get a good job, supposedly, or whatever the fuck they be saying, or make the connections, or, you know, all that mumbo-jumbo. If you ask me, this shit's all rigged, it's all crap. And since we're talking about this, uh, this one white lady tripping, let's talk about, uh, Yes Jewels, I think her name is, uh, well, not even really more about Yes Jewels about, but, uh, this nigga Murder Mook had the audacity to say that she could say nigga. Like, what, what, what in the fuck makes her to just get the right to say nigga? I don't know what the fuck niggas be going through or what be going in niggas' heads, but what kind of shit is that? Just because this motherfucking bitch done came on your podcast and sat there and talked shit about these two black bitches, and now all of a sudden, oh yeah, you could say nigga now, you know? You know, you, you you can say it. Like, what the fuck? I don't know, man. I just thought that was some of the courtier shit. If you don't know who Murder Mook is, he's uh, one of the, uh, he's a battle rapper. I never thought he was that nice, me personally. And uh, <clears throat> to be totally honest, I thought he kind of, I, I think he kind of lost that uh, serious Jones battle. But I don't know, man. Yeah, who knows, man. But, yeah, I, just, I don't agree with that nigga on that, though. Like, how the fuck he just going, who the fuck made you... The motherfuckers just handing out passes to say, hey, yeah, you can say nigga, you can say nigga. But the white dude sitting right next to him was looking like, what? I, I don't think, uh, I don't think I would go with that option. <laughs> but, hey, man. That's what niggas do, man. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I think it's called Easily Offended or some shit. I didn't watch it all. I just watched some of it. And, the, uh, shit was crazy. I was like, what the fuck, nigga? Sitting there letting this bitch talk about she can say nigga like nah man. I'm not with that. I don't know what what the fuck that nigga was thinking. He must have been drunk. But uh, that don't give you no excuse, man. I be hating when niggas use that excuse. Oh, I was drunk, man, you know. I was just trying to hit her. Yeah, we know what you your mission was, nigga. We know what you was thinking about. But anyways, man, that shit's crazy. I don't know why, uh, Nobody even said nothing. Like, the other dude didn't say nothing. He was agreeing with them. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Like, come on, man. That's not cool. I'm just thinking, like, you know, like, uh, if it's, if you think it's cool for her to say, nigga, like, what if, what if you were out with your mom and then, boom, you bump into her and then she's like, oh, what's up, my nigga? Like, come on, man. You think your mom's going to respect that? You got this bitch just calling you nigga. Hey, come on, man. That's, that's not cool, man. I don't want to hear it. Oh, with, with my mom, I think she should be more respectful. I'm like, come on, man. You're not. Uh, you shouldn't even, you should have never let that come out your mouth, man. I feel like, yeah, man, everything, uh, I never, like I said, I never liked the niggas' battles really like that anyway. Because I watch, I watch, you know, I watch from time to time, and I would say my favorite battle, my favorite battle, my favorite battler would probably be rap battler. Or oh, how do you say that? Uh, battle rapper, my bad. But uh, I would say it would be Sue Surf. And then after that, uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm not really up on all the new guys and all that. But I would say Sue, Verb. <clears throat> I would say Tay Rock too. Tay Rock's nice. But I don't know, man. I seen a lot of shit with Tay Rock, man. I see some shit that he uh he was fucking a tranny or he got hair from a tranny or some shit or transsexual or whatever. Like, come on, man. That's that's crazy. You out here on your young buck, my boy. You out here on your young buck. But 
<laughs> hey man, I don't know. I don't know what be going on, man. I'm just, I'm just out here. Like, uh, yeah, I seen how we got on the, the topic of battles, but uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, that uh, verb and hitman. That's the last battle that I really, that I really like. Thought was top notch, like, cause all them other shits be overhyped to me, like, I don't know, the fucking, uh, like, the Loaded Lux and Murder Mook and all that old extra shit, I don't, wow, uh, that's really not my cup of tea, man, I'm, I'm not here for that, but, uh, I guess, though, if that's what you're into, like, uh, I like Loaded, Loaded Lux, but, uh, you know, sometimes I feel like he, he gets a little carried away. Yes, and I do feel like, uh, like what Verb said, motherfuckers that are from the East Coast, and most of them battles be on the East Coast, the uh, the crowd be kind of biased to, well, to me anyway. But yeah, that shit's crazy. I, I I fuck with it though from time to time. The like I I only fuck with the URL. Like I don't know any really other of the leagues or no shit like that. Um, yeah, it's not really not really my thing. But, uh, but yeah, I like Rum Nitty. I like T-Top, too. T-Top's nice when he want to be. Af, he's kind of, he's cool, too. But, you know, I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, there's a fight coming up. This, uh, Earl Spence versus, uh, Mikey Garcia. Um, I don't know. I see a lot of people uh, going with Spence, and I'm definitely going with Spence, so I don't know. What everybody else is thinking, I definitely got Spence. I say he, I think he went by knockout in like the seventh round. I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, I wouldn't bet on the on the, on the knockout in the seventh, but I definitely, if I was gonna bet on it, I put my money on Earl, cause, but he's nice. He's definitely top. I think he's top three pound for pound. I seen some shit. Uh, uh, uh. One of them top rankings or whatever the fuck top boxing rankings, and they had uh, they had Crawford up there, Terrence Crawford at number one. Um, <clears throat> that would be a cool fight though. Uh, I think uh, they say Marky, Mikey Garcia got a uh, he's thirty nine and zero, um, thirty knockout. So you know Earl's twenty one uh, twenty four and zero, twenty one knockout. So. Hey man, I definitely think he puts him on the canvas though, cause uh, Mikey's small. Uh, he jumping up two uh, weight classes, so you know, it's not like people haven't done it before. But I'm just saying, like I don't know if uh, if Mikey will be able to get it done, cause uh, Earl be pun punishing motherfuckers, man. Like he be punishing niggas. I don't know. <clears throat> I definitely got uh, I got my money on Earl on Spence, but. Um, Man, fuck all that. The uh, AB fight and Manny Pacquiao, man. I don't know, man. That shit has still got me fucked up. Because I, I lost $100 fucking around with Adrian Brenner, man. I don't know what fucking buddy was was thinking or what the fuck he had going on. But, yeah, that shit had me mad as fuck. Every time I start thinking, even talking about boxing, that shit is all I be thinking about. Like, damn, this nigga, this nigga lost... This nigga lost me my money, man, and they're playing. Throwing eight punches a fucking round. Like, what the fuck kind of shit is that? Like, come on, man. I don't know, man. Anyway. But, yeah, I got my money on Earl. I think Mike get knocked out. <coughs> but I like, uh, I like Terrence. Um, uh, I like Tank. I like Tank, too. But, yeah. My bro, he keeps trying to tell me Lomachenko. Is uh, but I think I think uh, Tank give him that work though. I, I like Ryan Garcia too. He's uh, uh coming up in the ranks too. Ryan Garcia, he's the fastest hands in boxing if you ask me. But he's fast. He's fast. Super fast. But yeah, my brother keep trying to tell me about uh Loman Chico, and I keep trying to tell him like, yeah, he's he's nice. Yeah, he's nice. But I think Tank give him that work. And I, but I don't know if they're in the same class. But I think they are. I think they are, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll definitely be watching tomorrow, though. Uh, 
the Mikey Garcia versus Earl Spence. I'll definitely be uh, watching that. Uh, but uh, fuck all that. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Um, I want. Oh, I wanted to talk about LeBron James just passed Michael Jordan on the NBA all-time scoring list. Um, uh, Kareem's one, no, Kareem's first. Uh, Karl Malone's second. Kobe's third. LeBron's fourth. And Michael Jordan is now fifth. So, um, for all you guys that uh like I said, he's gonna he's gonna pass uh Mike and all the statistics. I'm just uh I'm not worried about the only thing they might be able to get, uh, have on him is the is the uh championships, man. But hey, I don't know, man. Congratulations to uh one of the greatest to ever do it. <clears throat> uh you know, passed on uh his idol, passed his idol on the all time scoring list, you know. That's a big achievement, I guess. You know, that's what's up. But uh, but other than that, the Lakers look like shit. Uh, they, I think they lost. Uh, no, they just got one win, but I think they lost like their like six of their last seven or some shit. It was or some shit like that. But uh, yeah, it was horrible. Um, Ingram was hurt. Everybody got hurt. Everybody got hurt. I keep seeing that as like, oh, their season was all fucked up because people were hurt. Yeah, which is true. And um, I'm seeing a lot of people hate on my on my boy LeBron, man. Talk about he's not the greatest in the world no more and all this and that, and that and this. But we'll see. We'll see if KD ever wants to leave uh, Golden State. I'm talking about he's, uh, he's going to <clears throat> New York with uh, Kyrie. But that. Uh, uh, tomato, tomato. I don't think that shit's gonna work. It would be, it would be nice, but hey, man, I don't know. I don't think that's gonna work. But uh, I was listening to uh, what was I listening to? Oh, the Brilliant Idiots, and uh, they were pretty much saying like, who the fuck would ever want to play for Bob Dolan? Uh, not Bob Dolan, James Dolan. My bad. But uh, motherfucker don't care about people or nobody. He just like how he just. <clears throat> ban the fan for telling them to sell the team. Like, come on, bro. You're worth millions, billions of dollars, and you're banning motherfuckers because they told you to sell a team. That's like trash. The the Knicks are super trash. Like, they're they're not they're not they're not shit. They don't lost Porzingis too and Carmelo. They used to be nice on 2K. I'm not gonna lie. I used to run with them, but. After they lost Porzingis and Melo, come on, man. man. That team is a shell. They're about to probably get Zion in the first round, first pick or whatever, and, you know, try to rebuild or whatever and get pieces. But I don't see how – I don't see that happening, man. And, uh, you know, Kyrie, they uh, Boston sucks. Everybody keeps talking about how Boston was supposed to be – you know, a powerhouse in the East and all this and that, but uh, Boston sucks. Um, I did I did see a uh, a thing the other day that uh, had me it had me laughing. Uh, it said uh, LeBron James can no longer stop the Raptors from getting to their destination. That shit had me dying. Oh God, it had me dying. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh yeah, and I wanted to uh, say. Uh, uh, I listened to that new uh, Schoolboy Q. That shit kind of knocks that uh, num num juice. I'm not gonna lie, that shit's kind of hard. Uh, I listened to uh, this JID. Uh, I don't even know who that is, but I guess he signed to Dreamville. He's he, I, he had a little slap too, man. Fuck with me, man. Send me. I need music uh, like that nobody's listening to and shit like that. Cause you know I get tired of listening to the same shit over and over again. But, uh, yeah, put me up on some new shit and all that old good shit, man. But, yeah, I listened to that that Num Num Juice slap and that, uh, that J. I forget the, the song of the J.I.D. shit, but he snapped that shit all the way through. Shit was hard. But, yeah, man, <coughs> hit me, man. I need, you know, uh, I need music, uh, fucking recommendations and shit like that. You know, hit me on the IG at KT Green on the Facebook at KT Green, same shit on both of them, man. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what I can improve and all that old good shit there. But yeah, this is the first episode of Chopping It with KT. You funky ass bitch, you. Facts.
And this is KT Green, aka your baby mama's favorite fat nigga. And I don't want to see all you niggas out there stealing my shit. I know a lot of you niggas be out there like to steal my shit. Don't be stealing my shit, nigga.